Good morning and welcome to your Daily Sparks. You know, Psalm 88, some of, one of the saddest of all of the Psalms. The writer suffered much. He, he might have been a leper with a skin disease. We're not really sure. There's sort of mention of that and deformities, that sort of stuff. But he feels that he's nearing death and that God has rejected him. He cries out to God day and night and appears to have received no answer. He's depressed and he has little hope. This is indicative of our entire world right now. Yet in faith, he will not let go of God. He admits that the Lord is still the one who saves him. The psalmist's experience is much like that of Job. And in this case, we're not told the reason behind the suffering. We just know that this particular psalmist is suffering. Second thing is the psalm reveals that God sometimes permits times of sadness and despair in our lives. These experiences can be particularly dark and difficult when there doesn't seem to be a reason for them. I don't feel, I haven't done anything wrong, God, but you seem to, be, have, to have just abandoned me. We all feel like this at some time. But in this life, a strong faith in God as the one who saves us and a, and a right relationship with him is the essence of getting us, allowing us to be able to pull through these times. We must never forget that neither death nor life, neither the present nor the future, neither the past or, the, or, or, or anything else will be able to separate us from the love of God. That's in Romans 8. And I, you know, some of you are suffering at the moment. You can't see the reason behind it, but I will say this to you. Trust God. Trust him in the good times. Trust him in the bad times. Trust God because he loves you and he will never, never, never let you down. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.